Labrador Retriever, 5 Tips for Crate Training Your Labrador Retriever Crate training is an essential part of raising a well-behaved Labrador Retriever. It not only provides them with a safe and comfortable space, but also helps in house training and preventing destructive behavior. To ensure a positive experience for both you and your furry friend, here are 5 tips for effectively crate training your Labrador Retriever. 1. Start Early Introduce the crate to your Labrador Retriever as early as possible, preferably when they are still a puppy. This allows them to become familiar with the crate and makes the training process much easier. Remember, puppies are more adaptable and open to new experiences, so starting early will set them up for success. To make it comfortable, it's important to create a positive association with the crate. Make it a cozy and inviting space for your Labrador Retriever by using soft bedding, their favorite toys, and some treats. This will help them feel comfortable and secure in their crate, making it a place they willingly go to. 3. Gradual Introduction Introduce the crate gradually, allowing your Labrador Retriever to explore it at their own pace. Start by leaving the crate door open and placing treats or toys inside to encourage them to enter. Once they are comfortable going in and out, gradually increase the duration of time they spend in the crate. This step-by-step -step approach will help them feel at ease and prevent any anxiety or fear associated with the crate. For positive reinforcement, use positive reinforcement techniques to encourage your Labrador Retriever to enter and stay in the crate. Offer treats, praise, and rewards whenever they willingly enter the crate or remain calm inside. This will create a positive association with the crate and motivate them to view it as a safe and enjoyable space. 5. Patience and Consistency Crate training requires patience and consistency. Stick to a regular schedule, using the same commands and cues each time you want your Labrador Retriever to enter the crate. Avoid using the crate as a form of punishment, as this can create negative associations and hinder the training process. Remember, consistency and positive reinforcement are key to successful crate training. By following these five tips, you can effectively crate train your Labrador Retriever and create a positive experience for both of you. Remember, every dog is unique, so be patient and adapt the training methods to suit your Labrador Retriever's individual needs. Soon enough, your furry friend will view their crate as their own little den, a place of comfort and security. Start early. Start early. Introducing the crate to your Labrador Retriever as early as possible is crucial for successful crate training. It is highly recommended to start the process when they are still puppies. This early introduction will help them become familiar with the crate and make the training process much easier. Labrador Retrievers are known for their intelligence and adaptability, and starting crate training early takes advantage of these traits. Puppies are naturally curious and open to new experiences, making them more receptive to crate training. By introducing the crate at a young age, you can establish a positive association with the crate, making it a comfortable and safe space for your Labrador Retriever. Remember, the goal of crate training is to create a positive experience for both you and your Labrador Retriever. Starting early sets the foundation for a successful training journey and helps prevent any negative associations with the crate. Make it comfortable. When crate training your Labrador Retriever, it's essential to ensure that the crate is a comfortable and inviting space for them. By creating a positive association with the crate, you can make the training process much smoother. Here are a few tips to make the crate cozy for your furry friend. Soft bedding. Provide your Labrador Retriever with a soft and comfortable bedding inside the crate. This will make it more inviting and cozy for them to relax and rest. Toys. Place some of your Labrador Retriever's favorite toys inside the crate. This will help keep them entertained and engaged while they are in the crate. Treats. Use treats as a reward for your Labrador Retriever when they enter and stay in the crate. This will create a positive association with the crate and make them more willing to spend time in it. By making the crate a comfortable and enjoyable space, your Labrador Retriever will be more inclined to see it as their own personal den and will be more cooperative during crate training. Remember, a happy and comfortable dog is more likely to learn and adapt to new routines. Gradual Introduction Introducing the crate to your Labrador Retriever gradually is an essential step in crate training. 
This allows them to become familiar with the crate at their own pace and helps make the training process smoother. Start by allowing your Labrador Retriever to explore the crate for short periods of time. You can place their favorite toys or treats inside to make it more inviting. During the initial stages, it's important to keep the crate door open and let your Labrador Retriever enter and exit freely. This helps them build a positive association with the crate and prevents them from feeling trapped or anxious. Gradually increase the duration of time they spend in the crate, starting with just a few minutes and gradually extending it. Positive Reinforcement Positive Reinforcement When it comes to crate training your Labrador Retriever, positive reinforcement is key. By using treats, praise, and rewards, you can encourage your furry friend to enter and stay in the crate. This creates a positive association with the crate, making it a place they feel comfortable and safe in. One effective technique is to use treats as a reward when your Labrador Retriever willingly enters the crate. Start by placing a treat near the crate and gradually move it further inside. As your dog becomes more comfortable, reward them with a treat each time they enter the crate. This will reinforce the behavior and make them more likely to voluntarily use the crate. Praise is also an important tool in positive reinforcement. When your Labrador Retriever enters the crate, shower them with verbal praise and affection. Use a happy and enthusiastic tone to let them know they've done a good job. Dogs thrive on positive attention, so this will motivate them to continue using the crate willingly. In addition to treats and praise, rewards can further reinforce the positive association with the crate. Consider giving your Labrador Retriever a special toy or chew when they are in the crate. This will not only keep them entertained, but also make the crate a place they look forward to being in. Remember, consistency is key when using positive reinforcement. Always reward your Labrador Retriever immediately after they enter the crate, so they can make the connection between the behavior and the reward. With time and patience, positive reinforcement will help your Labrador Retriever view the crate as a positive and enjoyable space. Patience and Consistency Crate training requires patience and consistency. It's important to stick to a regular schedule and be consistent with your commands. Dogs thrive on routine, so establishing a set routine for crate training will help your Labrador Retriever understand what is expected of them. When it comes to commands, use the same ones consistently. For example, if you want your dog to enter the crate, use a specific command like crate or kennel. By using the same command each time, your Labrador Retriever will learn to associate that word with going into the crate. It's crucial to avoid using the crate as a form of punishment. The crate should be a safe and comfortable space for your Labrador Retriever, not a place of fear or discomfort. Using the crate as a punishment can create negative associations and make crate training more challenging. Remember, crate training takes time and patience. Your Labrador Retriever may take longer to adjust to the crate, and that's okay. Stay consistent with your training efforts, offer plenty of positive reinforcement, and be patient with your furry friend. Proper sizing Proper sizing is crucial when it comes to crate training your Labrador Retriever. You want to ensure that the crate is the right size for your furry friend, allowing them to stand, turn around, and lie down comfortably. However, it is important to note that the crate should not be too spacious either. When selecting a crate for your Labrador Retriever, consider their current size and potential growth. You want to choose a crate that will accommodate their size as they grow, but also provide a cozy and secure space for them. A crate that is too small can be uncomfortable and restrictive, while a crate that is too large may encourage accidents or create a sense of insecurity. To determine the appropriate size, measure your Labrador Retriever from the tip of their nose to the base of their tail and from the floor to the top of their head. Add a few inches to these measurements to ensure that the crate is spacious enough for them. It's also a good idea to consult breed-specific guidelines or consult with a veterinarian for recommendations. If you already have a crate and it seems too large, you can create a cozy environment by using dividers or partitions to make it smaller. This will help your Labrador Retriever feel more secure and prevent them from using one end of the crate as a bathroom area. 
Remember, the crate should be a comfortable and safe space for your Labrador Retriever, so take the time to find the right size crate for them. Providing them with a properly sized crate will contribute to a positive crate training experience and help them feel secure and at ease. Gradual alone time. Once your Labrador Retriever is comfortable in the crate, it's time to gradually increase the time they spend alone in it. This step is crucial in helping them become comfortable with being alone and reducing separation anxiety. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and the same goes for crate training your furry friend. Start by leaving your Labrador Retriever in the crate for short periods of time. This could be just a few minutes initially. Make sure to provide them with their favorite toys and treats to keep them occupied and make the experience more enjoyable. As they become more accustomed to being alone in the crate, gradually extend the duration. It's important to note that every dog is different and there is no set timeline for how long it will take for your Labrador Retriever to become comfortable with being alone in the crate. Some may adapt quickly, while others may take more time. Patience and consistency are key during this process. Remember to always make the crate a positive and inviting space. Avoid using it as a form of punishment, as this can create negative associations. Instead, use positive reinforcement techniques such as treats, praise, and rewards when your Labrador Retriever enters and stays in the crate. Additionally, providing plenty of exercise and mental stimulation outside of the crate is essential. A tired dog is a happy dog, and by keeping your Labrador Retriever physically and mentally stimulated, you can help prevent boredom and make crate time more manageable. If you find yourself facing challenges during the crate training process, don't hesitate to seek professional help from a dog trainer or behaviorist. They can provide guidance and support tailored to your Labrador Retriever's specific needs, ensuring a successful crate training journey. Ignore whining. Ignore whining. When your Labrador Retriever whines or barks in the crate, it's important to ignore them. Giving in to their demands will only reinforce the behavior and make crate training more difficult. It can be tempting to respond to your dog's whining or barking, especially if you're concerned about their well-being or want to comfort them. However, giving in to their demands will send the message that whining or barking is an effective way to get what they want. Instead, it's important to stay strong and ignore the whining. This may be challenging at first, but it's crucial for the success of crate training. When you respond to your dog's whining, you unintentionally reward the behavior and teach them that whining leads to attention or freedom from the crate. By ignoring the whining, you are teaching your Labrador Retriever that quiet behavior is what gets rewarded. They will eventually learn that whining or barking doesn't result in any positive outcomes, and they will start to associate being calm and quiet with being let out of the crate. Remember, crate training requires consistency and patience. It's important to stay firm and not give in to your dog's demands. Over time, they will learn that whining or barking is not an effective way to get what they want and will become more comfortable and settled in their crate. Exercise and Mental Stimulation Exercise and mental stimulation are crucial for the overall well-being of your Labrador Retriever. It is important to ensure that they get plenty of physical activity and mental stimulation outside of the crate. This not only helps prevent boredom, but also makes crate time more manageable. Labrador Retrievers are known for their high energy levels and need for exercise. Regular exercise helps burn off excess energy, keeps them physically fit, and promotes a healthy weight. It is recommended to provide your Labrador Retriever with at least 30 minutes to an hour of exercise every day. This can include activities such as brisk walks, jogging, playing fetch, or swimming. Engaging in these activities outside of the crate will help them release pent-up energy and reduce restlessness when they are confined to the crate. In addition to physical exercise, mental stimulation is equally important for Labrador Retrievers. These intelligent dogs thrive on mental challenges and stimulation. Incorporating activities that engage their minds can help prevent boredom and destructive behaviors. Consider providing puzzle toys, interactive games, and training sessions that require them to think and problem solve. This will not only keep them entertained, but also tire them mentally, making crate time more relaxing and enjoyable. 
Remember, a tired Labrador Retriever is a well-behaved Labrador Retriever. By ensuring they get plenty of exercise and mental stimulation outside of the crate, you are setting them up for success during crate training. They will be more content, less prone to anxiety or restlessness, and more likely to view the crate as a positive space. Seek professional help if needed. If you're facing challenges with crate training your Labrador Retriever, don't hesitate to seek professional help from a dog trainer or behaviorist. These experts have the knowledge and experience to address any difficulties you may be encountering and can provide valuable guidance and support throughout the crate training process. A dog trainer or behaviorist can assess your Labrador Retriever's individual needs and tailor a training plan specifically for them. They can help you identify any underlying issues that may be hindering your progress and provide effective strategies to overcome them. Professional help can be especially beneficial if you're dealing with behavioral problems such as excessive whining, anxiety, or resistance to the crate. These experts have the expertise to address these issues and can offer specialized techniques and exercises to help your Labrador Retriever overcome their challenges. By seeking professional help, you can ensure that you're using the most effective methods and techniques for crate training your Labrador Retriever. These experts can provide you with step-by-step -step instructions, demonstrations, and ongoing support to make the process easier and more successful. Remember, crate training is an important aspect of raising a well-behaved Labrador Retriever, and seeking professional help when needed can make a significant difference in the training process. Don't hesitate to reach out to a dog trainer or behaviorist if you're facing difficulties. They are there to assist you and your furry friend on the journey to create training success.